channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video in today's video excitingly I am doing a little kind of like pack with me holiday outfits however I don't know where I'm going <laughs> so I feel like I've gone in blind with packing for this however I do know the temperature of the location so some of you may have heard me speak about this over my Instagram or briefly at the start of my airport outfit video or a couple of days ago in a vlog that I did but me, Bronte and Amy are getting together with Surprise Me which is a company that do basically like tailored surprise trips and we are going away with them on Monday for five days so basically we got in touch with them we were like we think this would be a really fun idea for the three of us to get together with you and see how you guys work as a brand and a company and we're basically taking you guys along in a little vlog to show you what we get up to which we have zero plans for we don't know where we're going we have nothing booked when we're there and anything like that it's very spontaneous and very very fun and exciting and we basically got in touch with them chose 10 to 11 different countries in Europe that were on our bucket list so they have like seven different categories on their site and on their app and you can basically choose a tailored trip and then they do the rest so they basically do your flights hotel and everything like that so you choose your top 10 places that are on like your bucket list or on a beach trip bucket list kind of the ones that you want to kind of go to so we did 10 Europe places that we've all wanted that have all been on our list for a very long time so such as Milan, Barcelona, Venice, um, Lisbon, I'm trying to think where else because there was quite a few on there <laughs> and we all kind of pitched in but we put those forward and the whole trip has been planned for us so for the first few days we had a instant kind of like time to be at the airport, the date we were flying and things like that and then two three days ago we got the weather report so we know what the weather's going to be like for the five days that we're there so it's going to be 24 degrees and at 21 in the evenings so yeah that's all we know like that's literally it which is just mad because I am the biggest planner and organizer and things like that so I feel a little bit like whoa out my comfort zone but all good things come when you're outside your comfort zone so I'm very very excited about going and then when we get to the airport we basically were only told the time we need to get to the airport we haven't been told our flight times there or back we just know when we land like roundabout and we know what time we need to get to the airport so that's it currently so it, there's no way of us kind of like searching or googling and we're not doing that anyway because we really want to leave it up to be a surprise but we find out I think it must be an hour before we fly so we meet at 7 a.m and then I think by like 8 9 a.m we'll know where we're going so it's very exciting but I just thought I would sit down and basically do a little video of the outfits like a few of them that I'm taking with me I basically have packed a lot so not all the outfits are in this video because I feel a little bit like I don't really know what to bring <laughs> so I'm packing so much luckily we have like 25 kg allowance which is ideal and then I think we've got 10 kg carry-on which I've never ever in my life had like in a little rucksack so I basically just tried to squeeze everything in a big case and pack as many kind of different colourful looks for like evenings and different kind of things depending on where we are and what we're doing. So first off, starting with my little airport outfit that I thought I would just include, I have filmed a full airport outfits video which is now live so if you want to see lots of different kind of airport inspo outfits then I have done a full video on lots of the ones that I kind of go for and wear depending on where I'm going or what times I'm flying and things like that so that will be linked down below but first outfit this is what I'm gonna wear on the plane I wanted to be like really really comfortable kind of feel like I was a little bit put together with the blazer but then also just have like little shorts on that were comfortable as well so these little loungewear shorts are we are another version and they're just super super comfortable have elasticated kind of waistband which I always go to when flying because I just get a little bit of a bad tummy when I fly so I just always want to be super super comfortable and then just a little bandeau top here but I think I'm going to go for like a white tee tomorrow and probably switch out the sandals for trainers because I feel like my trainers are my heaviest kind of chunky pair of shoe that I'm taking and I want to be able to utilize as much space in my suitcase as possible so this is my little airport flying outfit to start 
And then outfit number one, I have gone for my satin slip skirt with this little pink ribbed vest top and pink trainers, which are the New Balance 550s. I feel like this is a very cool, very comfortable kind of outfit. So I know that I'm not gonna like overheat in this if we're walking around all day or we're out and we're kind of like going for lunches and things like that. I feel like this to me is like a really kind of go-to comfortable outfit in the sun and I probably will bring out a white shirt with this look or a pink shirt or something like that because if the sun is out and it's blaring and I'm gonna get burned <laughs> I definitely need like a little extra layer on my shoulders but I just am loving like pinks and greens at the moment and I just thought this kind of brightened up a more dressed down look with the skirt and the trainers and potentially if it is too hot and I'm like no I can't do trainers I'll just switch out for some sandals as well. Next up I thought I would kind of start an everyday look but that's a little bit more dressed up just in case we're doing like a lunch and we know we're going to go into like evening I don't know a wine in the sun or something like that honestly I just don't really know I'm making up scenarios in my head and I know it's probably somewhere in Europe on our list hopefully but who knows <laughs> so I'm kind of just like making up little scenarios of where I'd wear it but I feel like I actually would potentially wear a red lipstick with this outfit to kind of tie in with the red bag and trainers and I love going a little bit out there with my accessories and colors with my looks and kind of tying in my accessories to kind of elevate a look further so I feel like even if I I don't wear this exact set which is from River Island and it is so comfortable and just such a gorgeous material that I feel like I could then style the trainers and bag potentially with just like a pair of blue denim shorts or the satin skirt that you just saw and like a white tee and there's kind of lots of different ways I could just kind of style these two accessories in the red lipstick with any kind of evening look as well if we wanted to go a bit more dressed down. I feel like me and the girls tend to not wear heels a lot when we're going out. We tend to do like dresses and trainers. So these will probably be a good pair of trainers to kind of dress up like a neutral dress with a red lip and then the red trainers to be kind of like a dressy but dressed down outfit. So I feel like I'm taking stuff on the trip that I know I'm gonna be able to style lots of different ways with lots of different things in my bag. But this one I just thought was a really, really cute little set that I could style with the trainers, with a red lip, dress it up a little bit more, have for every day and, yeah, as a really kind of cool, chic, city feel summer look. Next up, this super fun, colourful outfit. Like I said, I'm loving pink and green at the moment and I love being really bright with my looks. So I thought it'd be really lovely to pair these pink trousers with this little green ribbed top. My vests are all really, really old from Topshop, but I will definitely try and link similars down below. And then these trousers are from Source Unknown and they're just so comfortable. I keep wearing them because I just love being comfortable and having like a tie waist that I can adjust depending where I'm like, if I'm sitting down for longer, if I'm walking around, or if I'm eating and things like that. I just feel like comfort is key with all outfits. <laughs> so styling here with the sandals, just to kind of keep it quite cool still, as I'm not 100% sure if the trousers might be a little bit too warm or not, but I did wear them out yesterday in Brighton and it was 23 degrees. So I feel like, although there's a breeze here, wherever we go, if there's a little bit of a breeze and I feel like these are a safe option with the vest and I'm still gonna be quite cool in this. But I just loved the colors and I loved it together. And then I've also styled the pink trousers again with more neutral accessories and pieces. So this little black bandeau kind of styled top from Naked Fashion and then the sandals from Quiz and like black Ray-Bans. And this is again, just like a really fun way of styling them kind of sticking with more neutrals because then I feel like I wouldn't feel like it's too out there as I sometimes feel like I kind of style my outfits around the people I'm with as well so like if Amy and Bronte were to go a little bit more neutral with their looks I'd probably be like yeah I'm not gonna go too too like colorful <laughs> and things like that otherwise I might stand out a bit too much but I then would probably style them with black accessories just to kind of dress down the trousers slightly but still have that kind of pop of color with an outfit like I love and again just being super super cool in them with like a little bandeau top and sandals just to make sure that the trousers aren't going to be too warm depending on where we're going. Next up styling these linen shorts with the black bandeau and sandals just as like a really classic easy to put on walk around the city go for lunches breakfast and have like a neutral kind of put together outfit which I love and like kind of always gravitate towards even if it's in the UK or when I'm going away and that kind of thing and these shorts are so so comfortable they're from Pretty Lavish and I just love the shape and fit of 
of them and I feel like linen blend pieces are always kind of my go-to in the summer months especially when going somewhere hot I just feel like they're the kind of coolest option and I just love how they kind of look great with lots of other neutrals but then also colour as well so I feel like I could also style these with like the pink little vest top and trainers if I needed to as well but I've just kind of tied in with the black accessories with the black belt here just to kind of match up with the gold jewellery that I wear and that kind of thing and keep it as kind of like an everyday kind of city feel outfit that I'll probably wear for like breakfast and like walking around and exploring and that kind of thing. Next up at this kind of blazer outfit these linen blend shorts are from Zara and then the bandeau is from Naked Fashion and blazer is a charity shop blazer that I got a couple of days ago for about three pounds and I just love the shape of it I just feel like it's so cool and I feel like if I need an option to kind of have more of a city feel outfit that is still really comfortable but really cool as well then I feel like this blazer is going to be my go-to but then also using the blazer for evenings of any dresses that I have and a little pair of like wraparound court heels I might bring as well just in case I need them but I feel like this blazer is going to kind of be the piece that I go for when I'm styling more evening outfits when I'm away and if I wanted to dress up a look or if it is a little bit colder one of the days then I've got the option to kind of have that extra kind of added layer so this is kind of like a kind of everyday outfit way of styling it but then also if I needed to be a bit warmer I'd probably switch out the sandals for trainers and then like wear a little white shirt underneath as well and things like that but I just I feel like this is kind of one of my favourite outfits that I'm hoping I can wear and I feel quite excited to wear because I feel like it's kind of very me in an outfit which I love and yeah I just think it's super fun I'm just loving the blazer at the moment I feel like you can't go wrong with a charity drop blazer they are the best <laughs> the best kind and for three pounds I'm just so so happy with that one next up another little kind of neutral but adding a pop of colour to an outfit to kind of bring the look to life every day so styling the sandals again with this little black dress I have had this dress for a couple of years from H&M but it's just like a super stretchy kind of comfortable jersey material that I've styled with this Sara shirt just to kind of add a bit more colour, add a bit more me, a bit pink <laughs> to the look and I like the fact that I can take this dress from day styling like this but then into evening with the blazer and then like wrap around heels so I can easily kind of switch out the look if I need to or we've got like reservations when we're there that we need to kind of jump between or we're just kind of going out for the day and then seeing where we end up then I feel like I can just carry the blazer my bag and have the option to kind of dress up the look a little bit more for evenings if I need to so that's kind of my thought process behind that and also these are really easy to pack because they're so small so I can just like wrap and roll them which is ideal because I feel like I'm definitely overpacking <laughs> for this trip <laughs> but I'm going with two girls so I feel like I'm not too nervous because we all kind of share stuff anyway which is always handy Next up, styling the dress for more kind of date night styling, evening styling with this really gorgeous like fake leather green blazer which I just adore. I love this no matter what the season and I just love the shape of it. It is just beautiful on and I feel like this would be a quite nice kind of evening look if it was a little bit cooler in the evening. So this one I'm like, I've packed but I'm, it's currently on the top of my packing because I'm like, do I need to bring the blazer? will I be fine with the one blazer that I have? So I'm currently like umming and ahhing about this one because I don't know for the five days that I'm there if I will get around to wearing this one of the nights. I'm just not sure. So I'm kind of umming and ahhing about it a little bit, but I do love it and I wear it a lot in like autumn and winter and like summer in the UK. So it's one of those ones that I do love that I just chucked in here because it's one that I'm kind of like, do I take it, do I not? Um, yeah, let me know. Although by the time this video goes live, I'm probably already going to be on the plane. <laughs> so if you guys tell me that I need to bring it and I haven't packed it, I'm going to regret it massively. But I do love the colour and I just want to chuck this in here because I think the blazer is gorgeous. And I just wanted to kind of show how I dress up the little black dress for evenings too. Then for more of kind of like a dressed up evening look that's a little bit warmer, I packed my River Island charcoal rip, like raw hemmed, I said ripped then, but raw hemmed detailed jeans because these are my comfiest, like such a comfy denim and like stretch to them that I wear them a lot when I'm going away that I need to have like that kind of go-to evening look that's comfortable to be in and I could style with lots of different kind of tops that I have. So like the pink and the green that I've packed and things like that. But then dressing here with this little black blazer and these hills to kind of take a more neutral date night look, girls night look into a bit more of a fun kind of colourful holiday outfit with the platform green hills and bag. So the bag is from Mango and heels are from New Look and I literally love the combo together. I love matching my heels and my bag together and like sometimes my lipstick like I said with the red but I feel like this just kind of brings the outfit to life a little bit more. Again this is an outfit that I'm like do I need to bring it? 
Although I feel like I might regret not bringing a proper night out, like night out outfit if I don't bring this one or the last one that I shared because there's potentially gonna be a few nights out dancing and things like that, depending on where we are. I'm sure we'll find some fun bar or something like that. I just don't know how dressy it's gonna be. So I feel like I potentially will either take this one or the last one that I shared to kind of make sure that I've got that go-to evening look. But I just wanted to chuck this one in here again to kind of show how I'm taking my jeans with me for styling for more like evening look but then I'll also start with the vest and slip on kind of black sandals if I need for more every day and need to be a little bit warmer for like walking around and that kind of thing. Next up, this Nasty Girl crochet dress. So some of you may have seen this in my Nasty Girl haul but I just love this dress so I had to pack it because it is just so gorgeous, so fun and it's such like a holiday dress and I just have been wearing this a lot in Brighton on the warmer days of sandals and then I'm really excited to take it away to Greece at the end of the month as well because I feel like it's that perfect dress that can be styled for more evenings with like the red lip and red bag and then some little wraparound heels but then for day just with sandals chucking my hair up in a claw grip and just having as like a really kind of comfortable everyday outfit as well and then another dress that you may have seen in like a previous video or over on my instagram is this beautiful little pink dress from zara i love the crossback detailing to this and i think i'm gonna probably style this with the new balance 550 trainers for, like an everyday outfit that i am super comfortable in and super cool in as well and I just love the colour, I love the shape of this. I actually have the black and white version of this from like I think four years ago that Zara brought out and then they brought them out again in the pink neutral kind of beige colour and then a white and a black this year so the shape of my like old ones is slightly different but I just love how they've kind of changed the shape of the puff sleeves and added more of like a crisscross back detailing to this year's one because I think it's gorgeous and I had to get the pink one because I have lived in the white and black one in the summer months over the last like three years so I felt like I needed the pink one to add in there and I've been wearing it a lot and I love how it can be easily taken into evening wear with like a little pair of heels as well so maybe this could be like an evening look for one of the evenings if I feel like I need to dress it up a little bit with black little court heels or the green platform heels as well. Next up a classic little everyday outfit the shirt I'm actually currently wearing from Zara and this little white Zara bralette and H&M shorts and New Balance 530 trainers. These New Balance trainers are so comfortable they're literally like walking on sponge so I feel like if I'm going somewhere where potentially there might be like a tour last minute that we kind of go yeah let's do that or we're going to go walk for a full day I feel like these are kind of going to be my go-to because they are so so comfortable to walk in like long distance but also be kind of cool in as well and then the shorts again just so comfortable I've had these for about seven years from H&M and they're always my go-to because they're just like a perfect mum style fit so I feel like these are still online like every year they must kind of bring out similar styles so I'll leave similars to those down below and then you can never go wrong with a striped shirt on holiday I feel like it's the perfect like added layer over a bikini but then also for evenings with like the slip skirt and like little heels or white trainers would be a really nice way of styling it for evenings and then just styling for every day chucked over the bralette to be again super cool while you're walking around and like not gonna burn because <laughs> I really my outfits when I'm going somewhere hot is all about the sun like if I'm if I'm gonna be out all day I have to cover my shoulders I burn so easily and I'm always in like factor 50 so I always have quite a few shirts packed so I've got my pink one this one and a white one packed with me just so that I'm super super cool while I'm away as well next up this swimsuit so we don't actually know if we're going somewhere where there'll be the option to wear a bikini or swimsuit but I am packing one as backup just in case I need it and this one is from mango so I shared this in my recent mango haul which I actually shared a few different bikinis and swimsuits over there in that video if you fancy checking them out but this swimsuit is so comfortable and so beautiful and I literally love it I feel so comfy in it which is just I feel like a must in any kind of bikini or swimsuit and I love the color as always something pink <laughs> and I feel like it's going to be great just having a white shirt chucked on over the top if I'm on the beach for the day or if we're like going beach to kind of lunch then I can just chuck on the denim shorts and just have that as like my little top as well and still feel really comfortable in that and yeah I just love the colour of it love the crinkled detail I just think it's going to be one of my go-tos this year for any kind of trips or swimming in the UK and things like that as well second to last this naked fashion pink dress I love the shape of this it is probably one of the outfits that I will wear on the first day of being wherever we're going because it's very very comfortable it's very kind of easy to chuck on with the trainers and then kind of have 
for like lunch, brunch, dinners. I feel like I'd wear this out for one of the nights as well with potentially maybe the white trainers instead. I just quite precious about my, my new balance 550s don't want to like scuff them up but I just yeah again love the color pink and this one is just really really comfortable on and perfect for kind of exploring a new place and I've tied in with the green bag here again just because I feel like pink and green make a really really perfect summer combo so I felt like these worked really nicely together and then lastly this little bikini from H&M which I'm actually currently in because I've just been swimming in the sea today <laughs> and I yeah, haven't taken it off which probably not the best thing to do before I start filming but super comfortable bikini so I yeah just wanted to chuck this in at the end because I'll also be packing this as like a really comfy little bikini I can slip on again with the denim shorts white shirt or this shirt as well over the top this is like a backup option just in case there's a beach or a pool or anything like that and we go for little swims but this is definitely not a tanning bikini because of the shorts I would not want to get <laughs> little short lines and yeah fun fact I have actually had a really really bad short tan line before in the past so I will not be tanning in these or laying in the sun in these whatsoever but they're just a really comfortable cute material and print that I thought would be perfect to pack because then I've just got the swimsuit and bikini option just in case I need it but yeah they are the looks that I am packing I'm packing actually so much more than that but I didn't want to like sit and talk for ages at you guys and yeah I just felt like that was quite a nice roundup of some of the kind of colorful pieces I'm taking and different ways I'm going to be styling stuff for day and night and using the different pairs of shoes to kind of elevate looks for evening if I need to as well but but yeah, I will take you guys along wherever we're going. I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing and yeah, really, really excited. Let me know where you think we're going and I'll be sharing everything over on my Instagram as well in case you guys want to check out over there, like little bits and bobs before I post my video over here. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you're all well and I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.